Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to RB and Hardware. So, for several weeks in a row, we have been bombarded with news and leaks around NVIDIA's next gen, uh, GeForce RTX 3000 series lineup. So, it is nice to see AMD taking some of the spotlight with Zen 3 and Radeon RX 6000. Now, October 28th, yeah, that marks the date when the company will meet the green team with a brand new lineup of graphics cards in the Radeon RX 6000 series. And yeah, many of us are still wondering, will AMD be competitive? Will there be enough cards at launch? And yeah, what about pricing? And should you wait for these cards before building your next gaming PC? These are all great questions and in today's video we're gonna look at what the most recent leaks and rumors are saying, so hopefully giving you guys a bit more clarity. Now while Ryzen 5000 was the topic for the Zen 3 event that was held just a few days ago, AMD did actually show us a sneak peek of the GPUs that they have been working on. Now I always recommend guys to never pre-order anything until you have seen independent uh, benchmarks and reviews. But that being said, yeah, Zen 3 looks very very competitive and it seems that yeah, they can beat Intel in the gaming department which is a huge achievement. Yeah anyway at this gaming event they showed us a short Borderlands 3 benchmark sequence running in 4k on the next generation hardware but as we can see guys with no overlay which makes it harder to predict the performance. Now Lisa Su revealed that in terms of processor for the system being you know benchmarked they were running uh, on the upcoming 12 core Ryzen 9 5900X with an unknown Radeon RX 6000 series graphics card. They did also share some gaming performance numbers. Now, looking at these numbers, we see in Borderlands 3 with badass level of details. And this resulted in an average of 61 frames per second. Even Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Gears War 5 seems to run fine in 4K. Now, since the benchmark was conducted by AMD themselves, we should take this with a grain of salt. But that being said, guys, AMD has has nothing to win by spicing up the numbers if they weren't true so yeah something that is also worth having in mind is that they used the upcoming Ryzen 9 5900X and there is no way to tell how this uh, CPU performs in these games but we can still compare these numbers to Nvidia and they will give us a clue of the performance using a Ryzen 3950X the RTX 3080 reached almost 60 FPS in Borderlands 3 and this is about one and a half frames slower than the RTX 3000 series card which we by the way think could be upcoming Radeon RX 6800 XT but yeah more on this in a second in Gears 5 the RTX 3080 reaches around 77 FPS and this is about 5 FPS more than the tested Radeon card. Now even though the graphics card is typically the bottleneck in 4K, the processor can also play an important role. And with a Core i9 10900K, the 3080 gains about 5 more FPS in Borderlands and it also gains 3 more FPS in Gears 5. Yeah, if we compare these numbers side by side, it does seem like Nvidia is a tad bit ahead of the red team. But yeah, it is important to not forget that these are just two games being tested here, guys. And <laughs> the truth is, we don't even know what Radeon RX 6000 they were testing here. But yeah, with that being said, we think that the card that Lisa Su is holding in her hand might be the upcoming Radeon RX 6800 XT. And if we dig through some of the rumors around Big Navi that suggest that AMD is targeting upcoming 6800 XT to the RTX 3080 and they are saving the 6900 XT to the RTX 3090. And if we judge these numbers, we see that the tested car seems to place itself around the RTX 3080 in terms of performance. Now, according to Copite 7 Kimi, because the RTX 3080 is quite expensive, it does seem like Nvidia is planning a new GPU called GA103 that can compete with this GPU. Now, based on the rumors around the biggest Navi, we have seen reports that could indicate that this might be a water cool card. Now, AMD themselves claims that the biggest Navi is a Halo product, meaning that it might be a low volume product that possibly won't be, you know, very super popular and thus probably doesn't make that much sense to push it as much as perhaps other graphics cards in their lineup. And we have actually seen AMD done this before in the CPU department. And I think the Ryzen 9 3950X is a pretty good example or even the 3900X is perhaps an even better one, even though both of these are 
generally faster in games than any of the other red teams, cheaper Thirdian Ryzen offerings. For example guys, AMD still used the Ryzen 7 3700X. When comparing Zen 2 to Intel at the Thirdian Ryzen presentation, maybe because it just wasn't the Halo product, and they simply thought that they could sell the 3700X in higher volume and that it would be a better popular choice among gaming enthusiasts because of its uh, yeah, compelling price and performance. Now regarding the GPU being tested here, there's been reports that this might be a lower end Radeon RX 6000 variant and this yeah, strengthens this theory even more. According to PC World, AMD Scott Herkelman uh, stressed that AMD didn't state which Radeon RX 6000 series graphics card ran the benchmark. So we don't know whether these results came from the biggest big navi or a modest offering, and Herkelman also stressed that there is still fine tuning left to do before launch. But yeah guys, given that the card has 3 fans, yeah to me suggests that this is a high end Navi 21 based graphics card nonetheless. Now based on Copite 7 Kimi's tweet, it makes it seem that AMD is trying to undercut Nvidia. The Radeon RX 6800 XT might be priced at 649. AMD has also indicated that Navi 2 won't be a paper launch, so hopefully there will be enough GPUs available at launch to cover the high demand. And so if you can, I think it's worth waiting a few more weeks before deciding to whether you should pick Nvidia or AMD in your next gaming PC build. So what do you think about the Radeon RX 6000 series? Do you want to see AMD beat Nvidia or is good performance at a competitive price tag compared to Nvidia good enough for you? Let us know down below.